Welcome. Today we'll be talking about perimeter and area of quadrilaterals and triangles. The perimeter of a figure is the walking distance around it. It's uh, how much fence you would, how long a fence you would need if you were to build a fence around uh, a plot of land. To find the walking distance or the perimeter, all you need to do is add up all of the side lengths. So first, we'll look at a rectangle. If we remember back from our properties of quadrilateral, this rectangle has a side AB that's two and a side BC that's six yards long, which means that AD is also six yards long and DC is also two yards long. So then to find our perimeter, it's as simple as taking six plus six plus two plus two, which is 16 yards. It's important to include the unit when you've been given the unit in the problem. We will visit area in a second, but let's come down and take a look at this square, L, M, N, O. For a square, we've been given uh, the perimeter is 44 units long. Now, because it's a square and all squares are rhombi, we know that all four sides have to be the same length. So we could just call them X, 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 and X. which would give us the equation, if we were to add up all of our sides, 44 equals 4x, which then we can just divide each side of this equation by 4 to get that the perimeter, or sorry, each side length of this square is 11 units long. Now let's come back and look at area. So perimeter was measured in a linear distance. Area is a unit of space. Area is how much space is taken up on the inside of the figure. And we'll measure them off by one by one unit squares. So if we go to our first rectangle, I wanna know how many squares can I draw. So first I'll split it into one unit of uh, high segments. Now because it's two yards long, I can make two one yard sections. And we'll go along the other way as well. I can separate it six times. And then we'll just count up the squares. There's gonna be 12 squares. Twelve square yards. There are 12 one by one square yards. We'll do something similar with the square. The square has side lengths that are 11 units and 11 units. So if I wanna find the area without drawing all the squares, I'll multiply 11 times 11 is 121 units squared. So in ger general, the area of a parallelogram is base times height. We'll use this to develop the area of a triangle. So here's a right triangle with side length B and height H. And I'm going to copy and paste it and rotate it for a second. And now if I take uh, the triangle and just turn it upside down, it makes a rectangle again. So the area of this rectangle is base times height, so if I just want the triangle, what we started with, it's one half base times height, because it's just half of the rectangle. So let's go through and do a couple of examples. Here is another right triangle. The base is six, the height is seven. So the area is one half of six times seven which we could then simplify, a half of six is three, so it's three times seven, which is 21. 21 square units. The height of the triangle isn't always one of its sides. You're gonna take the highest point and measure straight down to the ground. So here the height is five. The base is still six. So that gives us one half of six times five. Again, half of six is three, so that's really just three times five. I got a little ahead of myself. So the area is 15 units squared. And finally, the height of a triangle is sometimes outside of the triangle. It just depends on how it looks when you're, when you're trying to, if it's leaning over. So the height is seven, the base is three, so our area is one half of seven times three. 
which you can use a calculator. I did this in one step. You get 10 and a half, 10.5 square units. All right, thank you much.